In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slide for cloud computing concept and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have created a cloud and I have uh, put some random uh, icons into this one like Bitcoin, dollars and then you've got this uh, fingerprints, emails, okay, books, all different, different knowledge, whatever a cloud can possess and then I've added the devices here like mobile devices gaming devices and laptops or uh, pcs and then what happens when i click that information uh, kind of a, with the help of a line it transmit to this particular devices so when i click you can see here first of all it started giving a pulse effect here and then that information is transferring from the cloud to the devices Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any blue color background then I'm going to add a cloud here. The cloud you can add in two ways either you can design your own cloud or you can use it uh, from the icon so let me just show you how you can create your own one quickly so go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle make it fully curved and then go to the insert shapes select the oval shape draw small oval shapes press ctrl d you can see here just change the shape all right so you can just make it like this a random small uh, all shapes you have to place here and there and you can just close it something like this and then select all of these shapes go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a union so this is a one way of creating the uh, the clouds or the other easiest way is go to insert click on the icons and here in the icons you need to just type the cloud and then you can uh, use that particular cloud for example i'll just say cloud and you can see here the cloud is there i'm just going to select click insert and increase the size you can see here increase depending on the requirement you can increase it and convert to shape okay just click it here so either you can use this or this so let me just delete this one and i'm going to use the one which i have downloaded from the icon so again depending on the requirement increase the size then i'm going to fill this with some light blue color okay so right mouse click go to the format shape under fill you can see here we have got some light colors here but the moment you put this one it is not visible so for that what we need to do we have to give an outline to give an outline you can go to the shape format shape outline and i'm going to give it a white and you can increase the width so increase the width you can go to the line scroll down and you can see the width here just increase the width depending on the requirement so i'm going to keep this much okay which is 14 points and then i would like to give a shadow effect for this okay so for that go to the effects under the shadow here come down and i'm going to choose the shadow effect which is this one inside top left okay just click that one and increase the distance you can see here so this way i have completed designing my the cloud and then within this cloud i would like to add some small icons you know where i would like to show that the data is passing from this particular icons which are stored in the cloud and which is coming to the our devices like mobile or pc or laptops okay for that go to insert click on icons again make sure that you need to choose some uh, icons which are relevant to the cloud computing for example you just cannot put this kind of uh, you know these particular shapes okay the alien shapes and all those things so make sure that you put the right information or right icons here so let me just put maybe this one i'm just choosing some random here in this case okay so some bitcoins some dollars or something like that you can just put it some books all right you can see here we have got different and uh, calculators so many things are there so i'm just in this case i'm just randomly choosing even i'm going to put the camels as well some toffees some cars okay even these centipedes all those things i'm just keeping for the sake of this tutorial only okay and click insert 
so this got inserted move aside and height and width i'm going to make it as 0.4 and graphic fill i'm going to fill this with white color okay now start putting in a random order within this cloud okay you can see here i'm just putting it around in a random order so you can see here one by one we have to just use it yeah all right so once this is done the next step is i would like the data is transferring from the clouds to the uh, to the de devices home devices okay so for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw or rectangle maybe this much size all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white hold the control shift key and move it aside okay make sure that there should be a gap between this one and select both of these again hold the control shift key and move it here so you can see here uh, and make sure that this is properly aligned all right for that you can just go to the view enable the guides all right and make sure that this is properly aligned in the center and even the cloud also we have to just move it so that it is in the center all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the size of this all right you can see here i'm going to increase the size of this and then press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl g to group it reduce the height and i'm going to increase the width here okay and then i'm going to place this one which is below the area of our slide size okay so for that let me just give some different color and move it down so now what i'm going to do is using a free form i'm going to connect this shape to this one okay so right mouse click group ungroup because this particular shapes i'm going to delete later okay but for the reference i'm keeping this one so go to insert shapes select the lines underlines choose the a free form shape okay the free form shape let me just zoom in okay so here from this it will go here again click it here even if it gaps not a problem we can do it correct it later okay and do this one shape outline no outline shape fill you can just give some light gray color here and you can see some gap is there for that right mouse click edit point and then you can adjust this all right so go to the insert shapes the next one i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to connect the below rectangle to the top of the rectangle the top rectangle and do the same thing here so you can see here again if there's any gap you need to do the correction so let me just do for the third as well you can see here even if it is going the outside of the slide area not a problem so here it looks something there's a problem so i'm going to delete like this okay so simply hit the delete button go to insert again do it correctly okay you need to focus it actually so let me just do it this time correctly and i think this looks okay and the same thing yeah so again if you want just increase the size a little bit and then go to the insert shapes select the and this is the last rectangle we are going to join and the same thing select these rectangles and go to the shape format send to back all right and delete this one we don't want this the one which we have added at the bottom okay so now i would like to add one more rectangle here add one rectangle okay so rectangle should be this okay the rectangles which we have added here at the top white one no outline and shape fill you can just give some dark color here and then do back so you can see here it looks something like this and once this is done you can insert some icons so if you see here in my case i have downloaded these icons from uh, flyticon.com that's a website so that particular items icons only i'm going to use it here okay 
so this is somewhat colorful so you can go to the flat icon.com and uh, insert the icons relevant icons here okay so once this is done go to the insert shapes again from the lines I'm going to choose the freeform shape and this time I'm going to click here and here straight line make sure that the line is straight by hitting by pressing the shift key you get the straight line and then don't press the shift key now okay and then this is connecting to this device double click shape outline i'm going to give a kind of a green color here and the effect i'm going to give the dotted lines all right and then if you want you can give the weight also somewhat increase so that it is visible yeah so the same way i'm going to do the the next one again freeform shape which is coming from here hold the shift key for that a straight line for the straight line and then release the uh, uh, shift key and then double click this one okay again give the same or i can use the go to the home format printer and click it here i think it's better not to use that one because it is going here and this yeah, i'm not able to select the line here so again for that let me just go to the shape format green color weight i'm going to increase it and then the dotted lines where is the dotted lines here yeah okay so just do the for example i'm just going to copy this one okay press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just copying it here and here also okay so actually this is not the right one but uh, just for the time being i'm doing this one okay so once this is done it's time to do the animations okay for that go to the animations enable the animation pane here i'm going to choose all the icons which i've selected here okay and make sure that your icons are uh, placed randomly and within this uh, within the boundaries of the cloud okay it should not be something here or overlapping each other all right so let me just select all these uh, only the, the icons within the cloud then go to the add animations go to the more emphasis effect and from here I'm going to choose the pulse okay pulse click ok and right mouse click effect options timings instead of very fast you can make it fast and repeat make it until end of the slide and click ok so now what happens here is it will keep on you can see here pulse okay the like heart how it pulse okay how it beats the same thing so here what you can do is you can just give a different delays here between different different icons some random icons i'm choosing and i'm delaying this one okay so if i play for example so you can see here not at once all this is having the impulse animation it is having a kind of animation which is having a different time intervals okay like that and once that is done select the line all right i'm going to choose all the lines here by holding the shift key all right then wipe animation effect i'm going to give wipe okay wipe animation effect it should come from top okay and that should happen either on click or it should happen after previous okay and this also should be continuous again select all these four uh, options or the, uh, the animation effects right mouse click go to the effect options again the timings either you want to make it fast or very fast depending on your requirement and make it the repeat until end of the slide click ok and here also you can give a different time intervals for the delay of this one okay so now if i play once i click it will start and then it will start having as if this information is coming from the clouds and uh, coming to our devices okay and one more thing make sure that these particular devices are always on top okay bring to front that's it your design is ready and if you'd like to add some text to it you can add the text 